The topic of whether ancient Egyptian civilization originated in Africa has been a subject of great interest and research in the field of Egyptology. Many people might not know, but this question was extensively debated and resolved more than 40 years ago at a significant conference in Cairo, Egypt. In this event, leading experts in the field of Egyptology engaged in a week-long discussion. Despite the significance of these findings, which showed strong evidence of the Egyptian language and culture having African roots, this information has not been widely known or discussed. In today's video, we're going to explore these historical discussions and their eye-opening conclusions. In 1974, UNESCO acknowledged that the ancient Egyptians were of African heritage, emphasizing Egypt's deep roots in the African continent. This recognition was a significant milestone in the study of African history. During a conference held from January 28th to February 3rd, 1974 in Cairo, Egypt, scholars Cheikh Anta Diop and Theophile Obenga presented compelling evidence that challenged the prevailing views in Egyptology, asserting the African identity of the ancient Egyptian civilization. This event, though not widely known among the general public, was a pivotal moment in redefining the understanding of Egypt's historical and cultural legacy. The Cairo Symposium was organized as part of UNESCO's project to create a comprehensive history of Africa. The key question UNESCO faced was whether to include the history of ancient Egyptian civilization as a part of African history. This required a thorough and scientific examination to determine if ancient Egypt's culture, language, and the ethnicity of its people were closely linked to the African continent. The necessity to prove the African heritage of ancient Egyptian civilization arose due to the existence of several conflicting views among historians and Egyptologists. There were three main opinions. One, the most prevalent view among Western scholars and specialists was that the creators of the Pharaonic civilization were originally a white European people. They believed these people migrated to Africa where over time they tanned and intermixed with the African black populations. This theory suggested that the Egyptian people were of white European origin and the darker skin tones seen in pharaonic frescoes were simply the result of this intermixing. Two, the second group consisted of Orientalist scholars who specialized in the study of so-called Oriental civilizations. They argued that the people who established the pharaonic civilization came from West Asia and founded this civilization on African land. Three, the third group, which included scholars like Cheikh Anta Diop and Theophile Obenga, asserted that the Egyptian civilization was a black civilization created by black people and was an integral part of the African world. This viewpoint faced significant opposition from both Orientalists and Western scholars who often used their media influence to promote the idea that the Egyptian civilization was not of black origin. In response to the three conflicting viewpoints regarding the origins of ancient Egyptian civilization, a decisive and scientifically grounded conclusion was necessary. To achieve this, UNESCO, influenced by the initiative of Cheikh Anta Diop, organized the Cairo International Symposium on Egyptology. This event brought together the world's leading specialists and their teams to discuss and debate these issues. Sheikh Anta Diop and Theophile Obenga were among the key participants. The symposium focused on two main topics, the demographic history of ancient Egypt and the interpretation of the Meroitic script. However, the central issue of interest to all was determining the true roots and nature of ancient Egyptian civilization. At the UNESCO organized symposium, a diverse group of experts from around the world, including 20 specialists, five observers, and two representatives from UNESCO, hailing from 14 different nations, dedicated many hours over several days to discuss the origins of ancient Egyptian civilization. Among all the participants, Cheikh Anta Diop and Theophilo Benga stood out as the only two advocating the perspective that the pharaonic civilization was a black civilization. They were the sole representatives of this viewpoint from Africa in contrast to the other 18 scholars present. To establish that ancient Egyptian civilization was indeed African 
it wasn't enough to just show that the pharaonic people had black skin. The task also involved demonstrating that the Egyptian people, one, spoke languages indigenous to Africa, two, had culture, customs, and traditions rooted in the African continent. To scientifically validate these points, experts had to draw upon a wide range of academic fields, including archaeology, anthropology, biology, chemistry, geography, and linguistics. They needed to employ various methods from all these disciplines. This required extensive study and research, representing a significant and high-level scientific endeavor. At the conclusion of the scientific colloquium, the findings of Cheikh Anta Diop and Theophilo Benga, who argued that the pharaonic civilization was an African civilization, were recognized as the most convincing. The final report of the colloquium acknowledged the thorough and detailed preparation of their presentations. Despite the comprehensive preparatory documents provided by UNESCO, the work of Diop and Obenga stood out, creating a notable imbalance in the discussions. Their scientific demonstrations of the African nature of Egyptian civilization were so compelling that other scientists, despite their numbers and expertise, could not effectively counter their arguments. This significant scientific milestone, achieved almost 50 years ago, confirmed through rigorous research that the pharaonic civilization was not white or oriental, but distinctly African. Since then, ongoing serious research has only further reinforced the understanding that Egyptian civilization was a part of African heritage. Some detractors, unable to accept the findings, have chosen to ignore or downplay this event, acting as if it never occurred. This is one reason why many people, including Africans, still have questions about the origins of the pharaonic civilization, even though science addressed this matter nearly 50 years ago. There are instances where Western and Eastern media, as well as some publications and documentaries, continue to present misleading information about Egyptian civilization. These misrepresentations are often driven by motives unrelated to scientific truth. It's important to acknowledge and celebrate this symposium as a time when truth and justice prevailed. This event was a landmark in African historiography, a moment when Cheikh Anta Diop and Obenga made significant contributions to the understanding of African history. Their efforts not only highlighted the rich legacy of their continent, but also showcased the triumph of their ancestral land in the global arena.